Okay, folks, uh, first thing I'd like to do is introduce ourselves. Um, we are your hosts. This is uh, Doug Chapman. He's president and CEO of National Group Marketing. And myself, Rick Thornton, business development, National Group Marketing. First of all, you may need something to offer your clients that's a little bit different than your supplemental plans. And here it is. I'm going to ask you these questions. Are your clients always saying, I can't afford a supplemental policy? Health insurance is too high. What about when you actually go to see them, are they hoping that you will replace their major med with your supplement policy? Sometimes I have clients that think that the supplements is all that they need. Um, would you like to be the hero that can give your clients an alternative to their major med? And would you like to make high advanced or earned commissions selling a different product along with your supplemental plan? Well, here we have it, folks. Let me go over this in detail. And uh, this is what we will cover in this comprehensive video. What is the value to the client with this plan? How to use this product alongside what you currently sell to enhance your sale? And what is the value to the agent when marketing this plan? Now, what are the benefits to the client? This policy is a very high indemnity plan that can be used for catastrophic events and doctor's office visits. We have double and triple indemnities built in. Why not use your current policies as one of those indemnities? And this plan can be sold year round as a group plan and or as an individual policy. And the price is one half the cost of a major med. Now I'm opening up the curtain. What are the intangible benefits to the agent? Able to give clients an option to their major med uh, medical while using the agent's current products to enhance the sale able to re reduce the client's total cost of coverage, thereby increasing the additional amount uh, that they can spend or save on your insurance, on your supplemental insurance. And this product will open a flood of referrals from your clients to their friends, and the agent will be paid handsomely for his or her efforts. Now, what are the policy benefits? Now, this is what we've done. We've taken a 58-year-old male, a 56-year-old female non-smoker in 75067, which is a suburb of Dallas, Texas. And we've taken the premiums and we've compared them. Now, we've got Pollock. Pollock stands for Philadelphia American Life Insurance Company. We have a $785.67 premium. Now, this premium here does include our supplemental insurance which is some other things that we'll go over in just a second. This one does not include our supplemental insurance, but it is a base premium where you can add your supplemental insurance. Now over here, if you notice, the major med is $1,218. Now I'm not gonna give you the name of the major med, by the way. Um, network, um, we've got a PPO network, and this major med here has an HMO network. Deductible, we have a $7,500 deductible, whereas their deductible is $7,400. We have a doctor's office visit benefit of $160 per, per visit with 20 uh, visits in a calendar year. And over here, we have a copay of $50. Out of pocket, well, we don't really have an out of pocket, and I'll go to that in just a little bit. Uh, because of the way the plan works. However, uh, the out-of-pocket over here with this uh, major med is $8,150. Commissions. Now, with this plan, if you're getting advances and if you're selling all of our uh, supplemental products together in one premium, then the total commission advance on this premium is $2,828.41. However, if you're selling a base plan and you want uh, advances, then the advance is $909.43. Where over here with this major med, it's only $60.90. And uh, here's some footnotes. 
and uh, patient will not pay deductible for outpatient procedures performed under general anesthesia. And there's a $3,000 first day admittance benefit, which means this deductible here is actually about $4,500. Um, this is based on our preferred plan or three units, and we'll show you that in just a little bit. And um, this, again, I'm going to reiterate this. This is a uh, $2,884.41 for a nine-month blended advance, which is about $235.75 as earned in months 10 through 12. And then over here, if you're selling just the base, it's $909.43. And it's $101.05 with months 10 through 12. Now, let's recap the benefits of this policy. Again, we've got a $785 premium versus a $1,218 major med premium. Now, what's in it for the client? Premiums are 45% less than the major med. There's a $7,500 deductibles that apply only to inpatient stays, and there's a $3,000 admittance uh, benefit. $160 benefit for doctor's office visits, and you get 20 a year. A $50,000 of critical uh, illness insurance. Now, this is where you guys come in. This is what you would not be adding to your policy. You would also not be adding this $4,000 of accident coverage. Uh, or fifteen hundred dollars for dental coverage. I expect you to use your sup your supplemental insurance for that. It pays the first eight hundred dollars for an emergency room. We have a large national PPO network. Plan increases annually based on age only, and plan pays multiples of the RV RBS or the Medicare physician's fee schedule to doctors in addition to the daily room payments of $7,500 per day for ICU. Now, I'm giving you the high end right here, which is $7,500 a day for ICU, but if you're just in for a sickness, it's actually $4,500 per day. Now, what's in it for the agent? It's very easy to sell. It's a quick and easy application. There's a nine-month adv advanced blended commission on 30% of premiums then paid monthly. Now, of course, again, this is blended, and this is using all of our supplemental plans together when you're selling that. There's a nine-month advanced commission on 20% of premium then paid monthly when you're just selling our base plan. Uh, payday is every Tuesday and Thursday, folks, and they don't miss that. Quarterly bonuses. And free verified leads targeted to business owners based on production. And you can recruit and train agents and grow your agency. And we have company trips based on 18-month production results. So if you hit the number, you automatically go on the production trip. It's not like the first 30 top agents and that sort of thing. Everybody goes. Now, who should get this plan? Now, here are some of the good candidates. Now, uh, healthy individuals, people on COBRA, self-employed, between jobs, uh, people, out of, people who have out-of-control premiums, people who need a uh, PPO, and people in need of a lower deductible. Also, keep in mind, if you're selling groups, this plan is guarantee issue. So some of these don't matter. Uh, here are some poor candidates over here. Women needing maternity, and I tell people that up front. People receiving a subsidy and cost sharing uh, for their major med. People with systemic pre-existing conditions. And people on costly meds. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn this over to uh, Doug Chapman. And uh, Doug is going to go through some of the particulars. And uh, he's going to introduce some of the things uh, that this plan can do. And uh, okay, Doug, um, you want to tell us a little something about yourself? Yeah, I'm Doug Chapman, CEO of National Group Marketing. I've been in the individual health insurance industry for over 35 years. Got uh, associated with this product about 10 years ago, and uh, this is a market disruptor. You and I talked about yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Very different product, and something this industry needs. So yeah, uh, great product. 
and had it for 10 years, had it personally for eight years. And the product's getting better and better and better. So uh, we're looking forward to showing you how it works today. Yeah, just to let you know, uh, Doug probably does somewhere close to about 25 to 35% of the entire company's revenue for under 65. So just want to throw that in there to let you know he does know what he's doing. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys what the product is and how much it costs. So let me run a quote for you. I've already put in the zip codes here, and now I'm going to put in a male 50 years old, and I'm going to put in a female uh, 40, uh, 48 years old, okay? And here we go. We got a female 48, a male 50, and I'm going to add two children. And uh, now we're going to actually throw the product in, and I'll show you what the product is and how it works in just a minute. But we've got double and triple indemnities going here. So I'm going to put in the uh, product. We've got a $250,000 uh, year maximum. I usually give a $7,500 uh, $7, deductible, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. It's actually a $4,500 deductible, and it only comes in tuition, fruition, excuse me, when you actually spend the night in the hospital. So if you do not spend a night in the hospital, there is no deductible. And I'm going to put in three units. And I know you don't know what a unit is yet, but we'll go through that in just a little bit. I'm going to also give some critical illness. I'm giving 35000 And the children, the maximum they can get is $10,000. Now, that's uh, actually one uh, policy there. Uh, now, like I said, we have double and triple indemnity. So I'm going to give you a couple more policies here. Um, this is our enhanced accident plan. I'm going to put in here two units. And last but not least, I'm going to put in a dental policy. And we put in, I can put in uh, $2,000. Okay. Now, as you can see here, oops, I didn't, I didn't hit the uh, select plan. Okay. So as you can see here, the total on this policy is seven. $790.18, okay? Now, I'm going to give a comparison. This is a Blue Cross Blue Shield policy. We put in the same information, 50-year-old male, 48-year-old uh, female, two children. Uh, we've got twins at 17, and this is where the price goes. And notice, this is a family deductible of $16,300 or $8,150 per person. And so this will give you some idea of the difference in pricing here, okay? Um, one more, one more, um, one more indemnity I did not actually include in here. I'm going to put this in here also. I am going to put in a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar maximum and a one hundred thousand dollar deductible, and this is what is called a specified disease plan. And we'll get into that in just a little bit, uh, also. So let me come down here, and the next thing I want to do, I wanted to show you the differences in prices. So this is what you get with this policy. Now, each thing that I just added on here is an option. It's not something you necessarily have to have. It's an option. So what we like to do, we like to sell this as one large policy with the option of getting each one of those. Now, if a client does not want each one, we can take one off. Like, for instance, if someone doesn't want dental, we can remove that. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to go into the brochure, and um, I'm going to I'm going to aid Doug, but I'm going to let Doug go through this brochure and give you a presentation on exactly what you're getting with this policy and exactly how it works. Okay, thank you, Rick. Okay, guys, like I say, I actually have this product. I wouldn't sell something I wouldn't have myself. This is the very best value in the health insurance industry. It's a, we said a market disruptor. It's a non-traditional health product program, and we call it the health and income protection package. Why do we talk about health and income protection? We use what's called evidence-based selling. Facts matter. And one of the facts is the largest, the number one reason for home foreclosure and bankruptcies are medical bills. And 78% of the folks that went broke due to medical bills actually had a major medical policy in force. If you've got a huge deductible, a lot of co-insurance and huge premiums with major medical, you don't really have coverage. You need coverage you can use. And, the, and conceptually understand this product 
It's a high-end defined benefit plan or indemnity plan. And when you can figure on average, we save our clients about 50% on their premiums that we're putting back into the family checking account in savings. And we eliminate the deductible and coinsurance from the majority of their claims they would encounter with this product. The only time you have a deductible is if you're actually admitted to the hospital. And I think that's about 3% of claims. Now we know that 61% of surgeries are done on outpatient. That is correct. So, and, and obviously labs, x-rays, all the other stuff that people deal with, there's no deductibles, no co-pays to deal with. It's all first dollar. So conceptually, giving benefits to ben they can use without having to pay a big deductible. And then obviously we want to protect their income. And we'll get into that with these other policies that we're stacking on top of the health plan that pro provides income protection. We want to protect that business owners um, from losing the house and going bankrupt if he does, in fact, get hurt or sick. So this is uh, the gold plan, the latest uh, product that just was just rolled out a few months ago, and I switched to this product. I will show you an actual claim I had uh, about a year and a half ago here at the end of this presentation, so you can see how the product works in real, real fashion. Uh, again, high-end fixed indemnity plan. The gold plan, uh, you choose your aggregate, which is a price point. As you can see, it's a $5 million policy. Uh, the, the price points are 250 aggregate half a million or a million that's, you can per, that's per year by the way the price point that i gave in that presentation or excuse me that quote mm -hmm. was two hundred fifty thousand dollars. that's our that's our top seller uh, keep in mind that one of the advantages with this product that quarter million dollars is per family member and every january think of it as a bucket of money a quarter million dollars and every january every family member gets a brand new bucket of money um, the, the, the advantage to this product, another huge advantage to not have to deal with the big deductibles and coinsurance is the consumer. It's a consumer oriented product, which means the consumer owns the PPO discount. So as long as the consumer stays in network, which we'll educate them to do as their, as their agent, then they will get the repricing, not the insurance carrier, which generally runs between 40 and 60% discount. So to keep it simple, if you've got a quarter million dollar bucket of money and you're in network, if your bills are repriced by 50%, this is a half a million dollars worth of sticker price medical bill. Now, you also have another price point, which is your three benefit or levels, which is your three different plans to choose from. The one unit gold is the economic plan, the gold plus, is that the one you figured? No, every, everything is done. Yeah, we preferred. sell the gold preferred is our top seller. The price is, is so good. We just load them up with the best plan. That way, whether they're in network or not is really irrelevant. They're going to be more than likely get an indemnity check back after their doctor, office visit, or or medical bill payment. Uh, the deductible, another price point. Our top seller is seventy five hundred. Is that what you quoted? Yes, yeah, seventy five hundred. That's our top seller. Now you do get a three thousand dollar advance if, in fact, you spend the night in the hospital for your first day in the hospital which reduces your $7,500 deductible down to 4,500. And that's talked about here in the below figures. So we'll talk about a two unit plan, which is actually 7,500 deductible, the actual plan that I have. And that's what we'll go over in the presentation. Well, I actually quoted in oh, the three, three unit. I'm three sorry, units, yeah. three unit plan is the one I have. I used to have a two unit. I moved to the three unit plan, I apologize. It's a new plan. So what happens when you go in for the hospital confinement, if you do spend the night in the hospital, this plan will pay $4,500 a day for the hospital room if you're in there for a sickness. Now, if you're in the hospital for an accident, it's actually going to pay more at $6,750 a day. Uh, just so you know, we talk about facts matter and evidence-based selling. The average national average for a hospital room is $2,250 a day. And our, generally, you're going to get 40 to 50 to even 60% repricing off that if you're in network. So as you can see, plenty of money for your daily benefits for your hospital room, whether it be ICU, as you can see here, or your daily benefits. Let me let me interrupt here for uh -huh. one second. When you actually go to the hospital, most people don't realize it, but four checks go out. One check goes to the facility. Another check goes to the uh, surgeon. Another check goes to the assistant surgeon. And another check goes to the anesthesiologist. Good point. What we're speaking of here is strictly fees that go to the facility. So we're not even talking about the uh, surgeon or the assistant yeah. surgeon yet. We're only talking about the facility. 
everybody gets paid. Everybody gets paid. And without the deductibles or coinsurance. Hospital outpatient, as you can see here, melanillus is 600 a day. Uh, confinement rehab, 25, 22, 50 a day. Your hospital outpatient department, if you're under general anesthesia, is 5,000 a day. Excuse your me one second, Doug. Isn't it stackable here? It is stackable. $600 yes. plus $4,500. So it's actually 5,100 per day. And 2250 plus 4500 is 6750 per day. Now, these two are stackable. Right, you, go ahead. Yeah, they all stack on top of, in addition to your daily benefit, except for the in, the uh, confinement in the ICU, is does not stack on top of the hospital uh, daily room benefit. Everything else stacks on top of the addi is additional benefits. And generally, with the three unit plan, um, People will actually make money, and I'll show you my my uh, claim here in just a minute. Well, I made actually about twelve thousand dollars on the shoulder surgery. Inpatient physicians. This is uh, during the hospital stay, one hundred fifty a day, plenty of money, and this reprices generally around seventy five dollars a day. Uh, then you've got your your. This is the key to this product when you're talking about defined benefit plans. When you get into the surgery area, we're using Medicare allowable, which is a, a RBRVS, and which is what Medicare pays. That's the largest indemnity plan in the world. And what if generally we find the surgeons will generally charge about 20% over what Medicare pays. So as you can see, with three units, you're going to get three times the scale of what Medicare pays. So again, uh, generally making money whether you're in network or not, but certainly if you're in network, you'll receive an, an excess indemnity check most of the time. Inpatient, or which will reduce your deductible. Inpatient um, radiology and then assistant surgeons is the industry average, 20% of surgical benefits. Anesthesia is obviously 25%, which is the industry standard as well. When you get in here to your outpatient, you have a separate bucket of money. As you can see here on the three unit plan is an $8,000 bucket of money per family member. Again, every year you get a brand new bucket of money. Uh, whether it be inpatient or outpatient. Uh, no deductible, no coinsurance, no co-pays, first dollar benefits. And again, we teach our consumers to stay in network so their medical bills will re be reprised from retail to wholesale at the point of service instantly. Illustration, your average, we pay $160 for a doctor visit, no copay. If you're in network, your gen the average doctor visit is generally $120 to $140. Your average repricing, certainly in Dallas Fort Worth there where we live, is a 47% or 49%, I forget. So $140 doctor visit reprices to about $70. In this scenario, you're going to get a check. They're going to pay the 70 to the doctor, and they're going to send the different back to the client. No copay. So again, teaches the client, it rewards them for being wise shoppers, and teaches them to stay in network. So they're not taken advantage of by these major medical carriers that penalize them for going out of network. We actually reward them for staying in network. Specialized uh, specialists, we pay $200 per visit. You're allowed two visits a year to specialists. And as you can see, you've got 20 visits per person at the doctor's visit. Now, a commonly asked question is, what if I go to the specialist more than twice a year? No problem. That reverts back to the 160. Okay, the first two is 200, the rest of them are 160. And again, you've got 20 visits on outpatient at the 160 per person per year. Included in that 20 visits, of course, is six chiropractic visits uh -huh. and your two special visits. Exactly, exactly. So you've got, what is that, 20, 28 visits combined with your six and so forth included in that. No, I, actually, the total is 20. Okay, <laughs> 20 here, but you got a two more on the physician visit. Yeah, yeah, but that's included in the 20. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we're going to have to edit that out. <laughs> okay, uh, surgeon benefits. Yeah. This is uh, obviously inpatient surgery or outpatient surgery. Falls underneath the larger surgery benefit schedule. If you happen to go to a doctor's office for a minor mold to be removed off your hand or a skin you know, lesion or something, then the $300 would pay in addition to your doctor visit in that benefit again stacked on top of your daily doctor visit mris pet scans seven hundred dollars for an mri this is really up to educate ourselves as agents and the consumers 
which is the value of this plan, they think uh, an MRI is eighteen hundred dollars. It lists for that, but we show them how to get three, four, five hundred dollars MRI. Exactly, you can you can get an MRI anywhere between four hundred and fifty bucks all the way up to forty five hundred bucks. It depends on where you go to get that. Yeah, we educate the consumer to shop, give them the tools to shop with. This is a fundamentally sound product uh, where your major medicals are fundamentally flawed. And so we do teach them where to get in. I paid $450 for my MRI when I had my shoulder surgery. I received the, the, the check was automatically sent to the provider and I received an excess indemnity on my MRI as well as my overall surgery. So again, labs, uh, x-rays, everything is covered, injections, defined benefit plan. We kind of, kind of, this is kind of like a Lego set. If you've ever patched things together, a Lego set, everything you could possibly have done is going to be paid for uh, with this defined benefit plan that's medically necessary. Emergency department is $400 for facility, another $400 professional services, obviously. Uh, we, we train our agents or our clients, excuse me, to stay out of the emergency room unless it's an actual emergency. And we'll give them the urgent care networks to go to and make sure they stay in network to get everything repriced. Now you get uh, two emergency rooms per year, mm -hmm. or you get two urgent cares per year, or you get one urgent care and one emergency. Now, like he said, we try to uh, train our clients to actually use the urgent care. Urgent care is uh, the, it'll pay up to $400 per day. Just to let you know, the urgent care is about $150, $160 per visit. Wow. So what happens, the difference, again, goes back to the client. Correct. So, um, by the way, if you do go to the urgent care and you need to go to the emergency room, the urgent care will send you to the emergency room because I had that happen to me. I was actually sent from the urgent care to the emergency room. They actually made me uh, take the ambulance to go, too. So, uh, so again, it's, a, it's about teaching the client to be a wise consumer and not letting these hospitals and doctors take advantage of them with the current system they've been in for years. Um, again, non-traditional product, and that's what brings great value to the industry. Uh, urgent care, again, ambulance is a uh, thousand for ground, 250 for air. Now we're gonna put another $10,000 on this in a minute with our additional policy we're gonna stack on here, we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, generic prescription drugs, again, no deductible. Uh, $30 we pay for, uh, like a generic, excuse me, and we pay sixty dollars reimbursement for brand name. I actually pay fifty eight cents for a prescription vitamin D medication. I get thirty dollars back. <laughs> so we're going to pay the thirty or the sixty. If it's more, you pay it. If it's less, you get it. And you do get a tremendous discount drug card as well. And again, when you get out of the deductibles and coinsurance and go to first dollar benefits, put half the money back in their checking account. They've got a huge head start before they have to use their policy. Uh, going down here, uh, preventative care is 250 a year for mammograms, colonoscopy, stacks, 500, 750, and so forth. Obviously, if they find a polyp like they did with my last colonoscopy, it turns into a surgery. In that scenario, I actually made $1,800 overpayment excess indemnity. Right. Keep in mind now, if, yeah. if they do find a polyp, he gets this. Five hundred dollars. Actually, it was seven fifty for him because he's had the policy for over four years. But it, it would have been five hundred dollars plus. Remember, for outpatient surgery, the plan pays five thousand dollars. That's fifty five hundred. And then the surgeon gets multiples of the Medicare physician's fee schedule. So when you put those multiples, and the assistant surgeon gets twenty percent, and the anesthesiologist gets twenty five percent. So when you add all of that up. It's under twenty five hundred dollars. That's what the, that's about what it costs right. to get a, a colonoscopy. So you add all that up, the difference again goes back to the client. Yeah. You always want to stay in network, get that these discount that generally the doctors and hospital or the, the major medical companies would receive instead of the client. Huge value. So going down through everything that can be done, X rays, labs, injections. Injections were found out to be ten dollars, generally ten fifteen dollars after repricing. As you can see, we're paying $90 for injections, so huge amounts, plenty of money to pay your medical bill. What we found is the average consumer does not need to be spending tens of thousands of dollars a year in premiums, deductibles, co-insurance, co-pays, admission charges. What they need is quality health benefits and a means to fund it, and that's what we give them, uh, quality health care and money to pay their medical bills. 
Now, in addition to all of that, if we scroll down here on the application, we've got uh, other things, other things that are included in the price. We've got Teladoc. You want to tell them what Teladoc yeah, is? Teladoc, guys, if you're not familiar with Teladoc, wonderful benefit. Uh, uses modern technology. Once you get your policy, everybody will get a Teladoc card in the mail with an envelope. Uh, they call up Teladoc, set up their profile, takes about 10 minutes. And anytime any family member gets sick, flu or cold or whatever, they can pick up the phone and have a doctor on the line within 30 seconds. That doctor will pull up their profile and look into their history and they can do a video conference or just a phone call. And that doctor, nine times out of 10, will diagnose them over the phone, call in their prescription. They'll never have to spend half a day taking off work to go sit in the doctor's office. No deductible, no copay. You'll love this benefit. Uh, anytime you need a prescription, they'll call it in for you and you don't have to go physically to a doctor's office. Great benefit. As you can see, the multi-plan PPO network, probably the, the greatest value of this overall package, the sizzle that sells the state, is the consumer owns the PPO network and gets to take advantage of those huge discounts, not the insurance carrier. When the major medicals double and triple their clients' deductibles and coinsurance as a penalty, if they go out of network, that gives you an idea how much money they're saving when they go in network. We pass that savings directly immediately along to the, the consumer, and then we pay their medical bills, and if they got money left over, they receive the check. The CARES 360 is a patient advocacy that we spend probably a million dollars a year putting in this product as well as the PPO network. They do three things. If a client needs to make sure they're in network, they call Karis. When I had my shoulder injury, snow skiing, I had to get an MRI. First thing I did was call Karis. They gave my zip code. They gave me an email of 10 places in five minutes to get my MRI, and they made sure I understood who was in network and what the cost would be. And I went, you know, instead of paying $1,800, I went and paid $450. They electronically paid the money to the carrier, Clearview here in Dallas, and they sent me an excess indemnity check. And uh, another thing, if you have a bill in a hospital that may be an overbilling, or you may have a balanced bill, let's say you weren't in network and you were maybe owed $5,000 after we paid out all the benefits, which is much better than your traditional deductible and coinsurance anyway, uh, Karis, anything over $2,500, they will directly get involved and negotiate that bill down on behalf of the client. And they will average about 70% discounts once they get their attorneys and the medical staff uh, repricing those balance bills, if there are any. And then if you have a surgery, they will give you five locations in your zip code and drill those locations down for your particular surgery and give you an exact bundle price so there's no surprises. You know how much your plan pays, you know how much the doctor is going to charge you, and you can decide where you go. That's one of the problems with the healthcare industry. Nobody has any idea what anything costs, and the doctors you're going to know that. We're taking that out and making this a fundamentally sound product. The consumer gets the choice, and he knows what he's going to pay before he has to pay it. Um, last but not least, we've got script save, or you can use GoodRx. I know GoodRx, you can actually put on your phone. So either way, the whole purpose here is to get a discount. That discount gets, gets, gets your uh, medication repriced and that makes your indemnity more valuable, okay? Mm -hmm. So the next thing I wanna go over folks is going to be, remember we talked about double and triple indemnities. Here's the other indemnity right here. This is an enhanced 24 hour benefit. And uh, if you recall what Doug said earlier, he had mentioned that if we had a, uh, we uh, had an ambulance ride that we're going to add $10,000 on to that. So that's what we're going to show now. How does that work? Give you some idea. So you come down here. This is your enhanced benefit plan. Now, the reason why this is so important is if you recall, we, we mentioned the fact that if you go to the emergency room, the plan is going to pay $800. And I'm going to be straight up with you. We go to the emergency room. That's going to cost you somewhere around $3,000 or more. Typically, the typical emergency room uh, uh, visit is about $3,000, like I said, but <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Thompson. <laughs> oh, I know. Never mind. <laughs> 
Seventy-six percent of all visits to the seventy-six percent of all visits to the emergency room are usually accidents, right? So pretty pretty much when you have an accident, it's it's going to cost you. So what we have here, we have a four thousand dollar benefit. Okay, so we'll pay uh, four thousand dollars per incident. So that means if you break your leg today, guess what? Four thousand dollars. You get burnt next week. You get another four thousand dollars. So it's up to four thousand dollars per incident. There's a fifty dollar deductible on this policy. In addition to that, it has a death benefit of a hundred thousand dollars. And here's what Doug was talking about earlier. The uh, we add ten thousand dollars onto the uh, ambulance ride. And then I had this happen to one of my clients this year. He was in the uh, he went to the hospital for uh, a burn. He was burned in the summertime from grilling on the stove excuse me, on the grill, and uh, he went to the emergency room. He was paid $300 per day for seven days. So that's a pretty good benefit. He got $2,100 in addition to everything else. In addition to that, we have dismemberment benefits. This is pretty common in accident policies. Loss of finger or toe, $1,000. Single, a single loss, $1,000. Multiple loss, two. Loss of hand, arm, foot, single loss, $10,000. Multiple loss, 20. Loss of sight, single loss, $10,000, loss, multiple loss, 20, okay? Now, in addition to that, we also have a critical illness policy. Now, that critical illness was included in there, and I believe I put $35,000 uh, onto uh, each one of the adults. So this is what the critical illness looks like. And... Uh, the critical illness has two categories, one category for cancer and the other category for heart attack or stroke. Now, for cancer, the maximum you can get for both on both categories, of course, is $50,000. Now, for cancer, the plan will pay up to $50,000 uh, for a cancer situation if you have cancer. As an example, internal cancer, it'll pay 100% of $50,000. And for in situ, which is something like uh, breast cancer or prostate cancer, it'll pay 25% of $50,000. Now, there's category one and category two. So uh, category one, of course, is... Uh, <laughs> it pays two separate categories, okay? Category one is cancer, as I said earlier, and category two is heart attack and stroke. So if you have cancer one year, it'll pay out 50, and if you have cancer another year, It'll pay out, I mean, if you have a heart attack or stroke another year, it'll pay out another 50. So for a heart attack, it'll pay 100% of 50. Stroke, it'll pay 100% of 50. Coronary artery bypass, 25% of 50. Angioplasty, 10% of 50. Pacemaker implant, single chamber, 30% of 50. Pacemaker implant, double chamber, 40% of 50. End stage renal failure, 100% of 50. Organ transplant, it'll pay 50% for kidney and organ transplant heart, lung, liver, and uh, pancreas, 100% of 50. This is the income protection portion, Rick. We deal with a lot of business owners, self-employed, and we don't want them to be in a situation where we have to sell the, ha the house or go bankrupt if, in fact, they're not working. So we're going to pay their medical bills and cut them a check for this, this income to provide uh, to pay their bills, home, house, and so forth, so they don't go broke, get them off the stress out of their lives. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you some of uh, Doug's uh, – well, this is one of Doug's checks right here. And, yeah, well, um, if I could, what happened here, guys, I had a, a shoulder surgery, total reconstructive shoulder surgery uh, due to a skiing accident. Now, my deductible of being outpatient, I do not have a deductible. But as you can see here, right here, the bill was $11,395. And I went to a PPO surgery center that's state-of-the-art, a brand-new surgery center here in Plano, Texas. My surgeon was nationally known, one of the best in the industry. He's with the New England Patriots for 15 years, done thousands of shoulder surgeries. As you can see, the discount that I received, not the insurance carrier, was over $7,000 because I was in a PPO provider. So that repriced the 11.4, 11.395 down to $4,100, as you can see. And my plan paid $10,915. I did not have a deductible to deal with or any coinsurance. So they paid a, a cut a check to the Star Medical Facility, 
And as you can see, the excess indemnity was $6,771. I also got a check for $4,000 from my accident policy. And then I made $150 of overpayment on my MRI. So I made about $12,000 after all my surgery was paid for. Now, had I had a major medical, I would have been paying twice as much premium for. Blue Cross would have repriced it to that. I would have had to pay my huge deductible, a lot of coinsurance. I would have paid the lion's share of that, never even known it, of the total bill. So this is the value of, of not having the deductible, getting the repricing yourself, understanding how to use the policy. And I, by the way, I save about, I think I saved in four years, uh, th over $30,000 just in premium savings uh, between the major medical and this product. It's, it's over 10, you know, seven, eight thousand dollars a year. Yeah, so we've got quite a few agents. That they're making plenty of money on this product. Um, we can go into some of the details later. Well, I'll, I'll go into some of the details. Uh, what I'll do is add a, another detailed uh, information sheet as far as commissions are concerned. But uh, we can go into that in detail a little bit later. Um, Let me say this, Rick, if I could. I've had this product for eight years. I've had three surgeries. Every time I have a surgery, I make several thousand dollars. Every time I go to a doctor, I get a check. Every time I have a lab test, I get a check. Every time I have any medical procedure, I get an excess indemnity check. And I don't have to deal with deductibles or coinsurance. So it's the, by far the best value in the industry. You got to understand, Doug knows how to use the policy. And that's going to be your job is to teach the client how to use the policy. Doug is not making money off the policy. He's just getting procedures that are priced less than what the plan pays. So that's the benefit of this policy. So, so guys, look, if you're interested in signing up and, and, and getting started, all you have to do is uh, click the button below. We've got our contracts and everything. Uh, go down, click it, send it off. And if you have any questions, please give me a call. My information is at the bottom here. And uh, I'll go over everything with you again in detail if need be. Got anything else to say, Doug? I thought, guys, uh, exciting product. Again, proven in the industry. Uh, everything going in the industry is, is driving business like crazy to this product. We're breaking all kinds of records. Agents are making tons of money. And more importantly, we're educating consumers how to get their health care costs under control and get their medical bills paid. Okay, guys. We'll see you at the top. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.